Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Thought experiments can help a person break out of their rut. One that I've developed is what I call the amnesia experiment. Imagine that all your bad memories are erased. That means that any residual effects of the trauma vanish. Now answer these questions. Do you stay in your current job? For example, you might have been tempted to leave because your boss embarrassed you in a meeting, but with that one with that kind of one-off bad experience erased from your memory, you realize that you're wise to stay. Would you do anything differently on your job? For example, your parents always criticized you for being willful. That made you too passive. With the memory of that trauma erased, you decide to be not aggressive, but more assertive. If you'd leave your current job, would you look for a job in the same career? Become self-employed in that career? Or change careers? To what? For example, you majored in business and embarked on a career as a corporate accountant because you saw your parents, one who was an artist, one a musician, struggle. But you're indifferent to business and with the trauma of your parents' struggle erased, you decide to indulge your love of art while still being practical. And so you take a course in graphic art for marketing. Would you increase, decrease, or eliminate time with your existing friends and relatives? What, if anything, would you do to meet other people? For example, growing up, your brother teased you and even was a little sadistic toward you. That made you gun-shy about relationships with men. But with that memory erased, you were able to give guys a fair shot. Most guys aren't sadistic. So you're going to ask your trusted girlfriends to set you up with good guys. Which of your current recreational activities would you increase? decrease, eliminate. Would you add any? If so, what? For example, you broke your leg doing a daredevil skiing stunt. It was a compound fracture with the bone sticking out three inches. And you've avoided risky sports ever since. With the memory of that trauma erased, you decide to try skiing again. While the memory of the trauma is erased, you have a vague sense that you won't be a daredevil. Would you change anything about your physical health habits, eating, exercise, or substance use? For example, as a kid, you felt under great pressure to be a student, and despite trying hard, you couldn't quite do it. That contributed to your having an eating disorder. Food intake was one thing you could control. With the memory of that trauma erased, you choose to eat normally. And finally, consider your spiritual life, including secular humanism. That's the valuing of making the world better without needing a deity or religion to motivate you. Would you change anything about your spiritual life? For example, you attended Catholic school where you were cowed into trying to be sin free because anyone who was sin must spend a long indefinite time in purgatory before God decides whether to send you to heaven or to hell. With the memory of that erased, you're able to relax and live a good, albeit imperfect life, confident that if you quote unquote sin, you won't be condemned to purgatory. Past trauma can affect present day decisions and attitudes. The amnesia experiment removes the barrier of past trauma. So as you review your answers to those questions, is there anything you actually want to do differently? In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.